Apologies for the, the restart on that. Big round of applause for the best man. Well, I'll start off by saying that when we were young, I was a pretty rough guy. But now I realize that's just because he was ruthless. Uh. <laughs> In a world full of non-truths and mistruths, you have found the kernel of true love. <laughs> My wish is that your marriage has very few patches and few bumps, unless those are of the baby kind. <laughs> and Ruth, you know that commercial? You aren't you when you're hungry? Well, instead of stickers, just try giving Pat a baby root. <laughs> okay, okay, hopefully that wasn't too Pat to my husband. <laughs> that jokes aside, I'm grateful to be here and to witness um, all that God has done to bring you both here. Um, I remember the day, Pat, that you came back from Guatemala. That was actually, I looked it up, it was um, October 8th. 2016. Um, we came back and, and we, were, we went back to my, our, our apartment, but it was not my apartment because you had been in Guatemala for six months. And you're like, man, I feel like I just blew my opportunity. And there was this girl, like, and I just blew it, man. Like, I should have told her how I felt almost. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. Like, I understand that it's hard, you know, but I mean, here we are seven years later. Um, and uh, I want to say that today you showed us an image of the hope that we have. Um, in Romans 8, God's Word says that uh, we do not hope for what we see, but we wait for it with patience. Um, and what I want to say is, is in that we are actually waiting, right? As, as the bride of Christ, we're waiting for Jesus to come back. We're waiting for him to take us. And, and it's a long way for we, we really want to see him. We, we, we love him. We, we long and yearn for him. And just as you did, um, I think that's sort of an image of, of what we've seen. Um, and I've witnessed that patience played out in your relationship. Um, so I, I kind of want to say that. Um, it, back then, and seven years ago, what you had was only a glimpse, right? But here we are today. And that glimpse is not Bill. Um, so I, I wanted to say that I think that's just kind of beautiful. It's a beautiful picture of, um, of what we have in Christ um, and what we have to look forward to. Right? Um, so if I could give honor to my brother Patrick's character, uh, I would say that Pat, you are a man of integrity. Um, one thing, if, if, if you don't know Pat, he always stands for what's right and he tells you what he thinks. He tells you what he thinks is true. Uh, he doesn't hold that back. Uh, Pat, you always took examples from us brothers who didn't do, didn't do things the right way all the time. They're like, oh, I'm not going to do what they did. <laughs> um, and if you saw something, you said something. And you made everyone else around you better for it. So I, I think you are a man of integrity and thank you for that. Um, and then the next thing I want to say is you're bold. Uh, like to this day, I've never seen anyone um, climb up 15 feet and pull up like two or three one-arm pull-ups 15 feet off the air. Well, that's the most manly thing I've ever seen, I think, in my entire life. Um, but Pat did that <laughs> in our church back in Philly. Um, uh, whenever your face, or, or another thing he's done is he literally climbed a 50-foot climbing wall, arms only, just straight arms, the whole way up. Um, when faced with a challenge, you always face it head on and you don't give up, and I'm sure that you'll be a wonderful protector and defender of your family. Um, and then finally, most importantly, Pat, you love the Lord Jesus with all your heart. I've seen you grow in your devotion and take time, um, down time at work even, just to read your Bible to get in and just get that time with the Lord. Um, I think of all the people I know, uh, you, you over the years, these past 10 years, I, I would say, have grown the most. Um, close, close to the Lord. Um, you're always remembering what His Word says and sticking to it um, with all your heart. Um, so, so that's what I would say about your character. It's, it's awesome. You have great character. <laughs> um, I just love you. Um, uh, 
Ruth, welcome to the family. Uh, we love your servant heart. We love uh, we love that you love music because we're music people. Um, so probably have really cool music things. Um, just saying. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm put you on spot, but I was just like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, just thankful to have you and my family. Um, finally, I'm sure it wasn't Katie to the same way. Um, yeah, we are blessed. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I have. Um, except the, now uh, may your union be filled with love, patience, and joy. And after you've marinated in it for a while, much paternity. All right, yeah, big round of applause for the best man. He's a very funny guy. All right.